Welcome everyone to this video on styling knitwear here at the Anderson & Shepherd Haberdashery. Um, our last video we did with Audie Charles here at Anderson & Shepherd was very popular, so we thought we'd come in again to talk to Audie, um, and this time talk about styling woolen knitwear rather than care and maintenance. I hope you've all been practicing. <laughs> <Or washing. laughs> uh, so today, Audie, I think we're going to run through a few different outfits yeah. and talk about how different types of woolen knitwear can Mm -hmm. change up the looks basically it changes the look of what you're wearing instantly but also i think it's sometimes a lazy attitude that you instantly go and grab a shirt mm. or a shirt and tie or a shirt with no tie which can look a bit of a mess mm. so it's just having another look in your wardrobe and thinking what alternatives you've already got to make it work for traveling going out for lunch or if it's weather related we're using today different layers from the very finest merino to the warmest polar neck mm -hmm. um, and we can layer it, put a t-shirt underneath. It's eliminating the shirt. Mm. This is the only shirt we're really using today. Yeah. It's a, I don't need to look like a geography teacher. But it's what it's sort of old man's cardigan. It's not. Mm. This is a, a lightweight merino. Mm -hmm. Simon and does it. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that it rather looks like you're wearing a waistcoat. Mm -hmm. And we've kept the colours subtle. And when you take the jacket off, it's still a really nice look. Mm -hmm. It's very calm and gentle and mm. you get lovely textures together of the shirt and the tie together um, this is a five button one it's a slim cut so it's not a big uh, bulky masculine chunky cardigan yeah it's slightly refined and i guess it could be short sleeveless or it could be long sleeve either is actually fine one. same we kind don't of effect have one today but a sleeveless one is very nice and again when there's a bit of a chill mm. it's just that that layer mm -hmm. is really nice and i particularly like the um, texture of the merino with the flannel and I guess when you also, if you take your jacket off, then you've got almost a bit more dressed underneath yes. as well, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. It sort of keeps everything together, mm -hmm. keeps it nice and neat, rather yeah. than a big bulky shirt, for yeah, example. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you can use a flannel shirt, a gingham shirt, a bit of texture, but it's just that rather nice V of mm -hmm. the sweater, rather than just a V-neck sleeveless sweater, which you can get anywhere. Fantastic. So adding that texture and a yeah, bit of colour. absolutely. Great. Okay. And now we have... Option number two, where we've replaced the shirt with knitwear with a collar instead. Yeah, this is a very, very lightweight, long-sleeved merino polo shirt. Now, merino feels wonderful next to your skin. It's so fine and soft. However, we have today sneakily put a white t-shirt underneath. Very, very fine. It just saves on laundry. But today we're using the grey flannel suit as our sort of default suit to add to. But it could be a sports jacket a blazer, many a thing. But we're using the grey flannel as our basic outfit to add all these different textures and mm. weights to and shots of colour. This is very classic, just the navy blue and grey. It looks very soft, very creative, immensely comfortable and great mm. to travel with. Mm. And when you take the jacket off, again, it looks lovely. That shape of the um, shirt with your grey flannel trousers is particularly nice. Mm. You know, you can muck about with different textures of pocket square, no pocket square, mm -hmm. but we just think this is the most simple one we have today. And so I guess like the cardigan in the last example, mm -hmm. again it's a bit more dressed up, you're not just wearing a t-shirt underneath yeah. the jacket, if you I take the jacket off you just still put it together. The nice thing with this, you put it on, you forget about it. Mm. You're not fussing with your tie, la la la, you put it on and it's done for the day. It still looks nice and elegant, yes, it's still yes, dressed, yep. and you could put an ascot or something else you around could, the neck if you, you wanted to, a little scarf. A pop of colour or texture underneath, mm -hmm. but I quite like the fact this is so plain and simple today. Mm. And a really nice alternative mm -hmm. to the shirt. Yeah. So option number three is the roll neck. So very similar to the... I've gone a bit Norman Foster. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pared back and minimal, yeah. but I still think it looks elegant. Mm -hmm. We've added a beautiful embroidered pocket square to this. Um, but again, if you were traveling, if this was under a blazer, say, mm -hmm. or a sports jacket, take your jacket off. It's a really lovely layer mm. and very elegant neckline. And like we said with the one before, you don't have to think about it. It's on, it's warm, it's light, it's comfortable. Mm. Um, take you anywhere. Yeah. Some guys have got an aversion to having a high neck. Yeah. Because they said, oh, I can't bear that thing against my neck. Mm. However, if you just find some soft pocket square, a little scarf, mm -hmm. and tie it, you know, in a long thing like this, so you've got some stretch. Mm -hmm. If you just slip it inside the collar, mm. you won't see it. It's just slightly more comfortable tiny, having that tiny, kind of silk against But the you'll skin. be surprised how this little thing just keeps the collar slightly proud mm. off your neck. Mm. 
it just gives you that tiny bit of space where you don't feel it's giving you claustrophobia. Yeah. You can't see it, mm -hmm. and it just gives you that. Mm. I think it's actually slightly more flat flattening because your chin doesn't stick on it. Yeah, yeah, I can see. And, and it might even stick Forget out through the day on those. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, again, plain and simple. Yeah. We can change the look of it by changing the pocket square or changing the colour of the polar neck. Mm. But again, good to go. And we're going a little bit more, I guess just it's one step more casual, isn't it? Because you haven't got the buttons, you haven't got the yeah, collar, again, but it still looks very elegant and put together. Down, simple. Elegant. Mm. And I love the fact that all these options are things you just wear with a t-shirt underneath, mm -hmm. for example. It's so easy and comfortable, yeah. like it just but always look dressed up throughout. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Add a sports jacket, add a blazer, a pair of jeans, mm -hmm. pair of corduroys, whatever. It's again, it's a great, easy, simple look. And it's using knitwear instead of a shirt. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay, option number four. And now we're using a shawl collar cardigan instead. It's lambswool. Mm -hmm. We had merino before. Really lightweight and fine. This is cosier, slightly heavier. Mm -hmm. And again, a great alternative to having a shirt. We've put a t-shirt underneath this. Um, and the neckline of this sweater means you can actually tuck it up like that. Mm. Button, and it's very neat and nice, but it's like having a scarf. Mm, much cosier. Yeah, I like adding texture to this. Mm -hmm. So I've picked out today a simple wool silk scarf. And it, it's amazing how just one little bit of pattern changes the whole dynamic. I guess it's a little bit smart as well. Just it just fills the in the neckline, mm. like that. Button it over. There we go. It's an easy thing, but as I say, it just fills in that shape and adds a different texture, a different dynamic to it. Mm. I don't think you need always to have a pocket square. We love them, mm. as you know, but um, it doesn't always have to be, and I think this is maybe just probably enough. Yeah, and I like this, your particular style of the cardigan, Yeah, I know is cut a bit higher and neater, right? So actually it fits quite nicely under They're a jacket. They're all our sweaters. People love the cut because we keep the sleeve narrow with a high armhole, mm -hmm. so you can get it under a blazer or under a sports jacket. This one we keep quite short, so if you're wearing trousers with pleats, yeah. it's very flattering. Mm. Um, that line there mm -hmm. with your beautiful pleated trousers mm -hmm. works really, really well. Mm. And again, it's a, it's a thing of not needing to wear a shirt yeah. under a suit. Another shape of sweater. Yeah, and it feels so comfortable again. It's so easy. And yeah. these are all different options. Yeah. There's no shirt involved with any of uh -huh. them, but all elegant as and well. And again, when you're not wearing your jacket, this still, again, looks great. Mm. Really, really nice. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. And option number five, which I guess is something people are a bit more used to wearing, which is a simple crew neck mm -hmm. under a tailor. But this is Shetland. Mm -hmm. Again, the cut of this is wonderful because it's got narrow sleeves, high armhole, it's comfortable under your jacket, mm -hmm. you don't feel restricted. Nope. But the beauty with Shetland is A, the texture, but the range of colours is fantastic. Mm. We could have done it with navy or another grey, keep it tone on tone, but I love this little shot of colour. Yeah. It's really warm. Mm. and. If you don't like that crew neck, some people are very self-conscious of their necks, mm. we can tuck a scarf inside like we've done before. Mm -hmm. um, we've added a pocket square, but we've kept it again, really plain and simple. And nice, a little bit of white potentially well, as well. I like that line of white mm -hmm. against your skin. It feels a bit more Sometimes flattering somehow. Sometimes colours are that you don't find terribly flattering against your skin, you mm. just need a little line of white. Yeah. And it just has a, makes it Separates them a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But it's right. very, very nice. Mm. And again, if the weather's chilly, I've just picked up one scarf at random. We could just fill in the neckline with the scarf. I know, Simon, you would probably quite like to have a scarf that you tuck into the neck of the sweater. Mm. Um, but again, it's a way of keeping you warm mm -hmm. and adding extra layers of colour and extra layers of texture. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And I think we, we have a sports jacket as well we're going to show this yes, with as well. Yes, just to just show, we'll get away from our friend the grey suit, mm -hmm. just to show that this works equally well with a wonderful tweed jacket. Okay, now on a 5B, our last variation. The excitement <laughs> of tweed. <laughs> and again, with the Shetlands, the colours are so fabulous and it can just bring out some hint of colour in a tweed that yep. you don't really notice. Um, I love the simplicity of this. We haven't over-accessorised it with masses of pocket squares and bits and bobs. We've mm. left it really plain and simple. I think most people will already have what we've shown today in their wardrobe. Yeah. But you get lazy mm. about redoing things. You know, you get used to wearing something in a certain way. You go yeah. for that same sweater each time, the same way of wearing it. Sometimes you just have to have a rethink.
Mm. And as I say, most people will probably already have these pieces in their wardrobe, Polonex, Shetlands, cardigans. And it's like when you move the furniture around in your house or the pictures on a wall, they look fresh. Yeah. It's just having the time to play with what you already have, especially with knitwear. It's not always just going to go with a pair of jeans or a pair of corduroys. Yeah. Mix it up with the jackets that you already possess for different reasons, for different weathers. Yeah. Layer it. Add it just with a scarf, mm. put a shirt underneath, add a tie. But again, it, there's enormous um, ways of wearing what you already have. And I think this is particularly nice, this lovely warm Shetland with your jacket. Yeah. I mean, I, the thing I've taken away most, I guess, is that people are so used to thinking just shirt or shirt and tie with, with yeah. tailoring. Yeah. But with, and maybe knitwear, particularly with more casual trousers mm -hmm. without a jacket. Yeah. But we showed lots of ways in which you can replace the knitwear instead I of the shirt. It, well, the minute someone puts a jacket on, they think shirt, mm. which is fine. Mm. And easier, I guess, most of the and time. And easier a lot of the time, or shirt, jacket, tie. Yeah. But I love the fact that the texture and the color changes your jacket. Mm. We're going to put a polo neck underneath this jacket too. Yeah. Would have been equally nice. Yeah. But again, it's just, we love the Shetland. We've seen it with the gray flannel and wearing this with a tweed. Mm. With corduroys, with your gray flannels. Yeah. It's mix and match. I think it's very in keeping with, I feel like, what the haberdashery does in that it's, the tailoring is there, but it's all about the knitwear and the accessories and the scarves yeah, that go I with mean, all that and make it so comfortable when, when and warm. When you go warm. to Bespoke, they will always show something in that very classic way, mm. as Bespoke do with a shirt and tie. We want to show that your suits and jackets can really earn their living mm. by wearing them in a multitude of ways. I love this with the grey flannels, but we could have put this over a pair of jeans or corduroy trousers. Mm -hmm. And again, it's another whole look. If you're away for the weekend, you took this away with you. You could dress it up, dress it down. Yeah. No, it's really, really nice. Fantastic. All right. Pleasure. Thank you for your time. Hey, you're Great. very welcome. Thank you.